Okay. okay. <laughs> Chicago bowled out. Okay. Um. Hello, YouTube. One minute. Yeah. Stay handsome. Uh. Hello, YouTube. Uh. It's me, Riz Il. I'm back on the channel with another reaction, and today I'm gonna be doing a suggestion from a, a friend of mine. A friend of mine. We. No, we didn't grow up together. We went to the same high school. He's a he's a bro of mine. Uh, his name is Daniel, and Daniel suggested that I should get into the Eminem album. The new album, The Death of Slim Shady. I haven't listened to it uh, yet. I've been uh, quite busy. I haven't even had the time to at least like buy it, uh, download it uh, yet. So <laughs> we're going to be uh, listening to a, a single from it first. And then I'm going to see how this goes because of um, due to copyright strikes and the fact that unlike uh, some of uh, the other artists that I react to, Eminem is very much a big deal, so I might be in more of a risk to get hit with like heavy copyright strikes. I'm gonna try and do a reaction to the lyric video first because I like to pay attention to the lyrics. And uh, if this uh, does well, then I'll react to the video and see what they did with the video for this. And then if that goes well, I'll go further into the album, but we're gonna test the waters. So, hey, without further ado, let's get to it. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. Daniel's back. Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Baby devil with the four tongue And it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb With a forehead that it grew horns from Still a white shirt Pulling up in a Chrysler to the cipher With the flex perks and a Bud Light shirt Lyrical technician and electrician Y'all light work And I don't gotta play pretend It's you, I make believe And you know I'm here to stay Cause me, if I was to ever take a lead It would be as friend to break a feed If I was to ask for Megan D Stallion if she would collab with me Would I really have a shot at a feed? I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like that ever, ever. in my back bro. Now back in the days of old me, right around the time I became a doping, oh. ate some coping as a way of coping, take the movie, mm. get case of OE, e. turn me into smutty face emoji, Ooh. my shit may not be age appropriate, but I will hit an eight year old in the face with a participation Ooh. trophy, cause I have zero doubts, that this whole world's about, to turn into some girl scouts, and since the shit girls out, <laughs> So when I started this verse, it did start off lighthearted at first But it feels like I'm targeted, mind-boggling How my profit is skyrocketed, look what I pocketed Yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been, like jogging in I've been running at full speed and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin I'm the fight y'all get in, when you debate who the best But I'm some white chalk and then I step up to that mic cock it in Oh my god, attention, not again To the anger you But fuck that If I think that shit I'ma say that shit Cancel me What? Okay that's it Go ahead Paul Quit Snake ass prick You male cross dresser huh? Fake ass bitch Then I'll probably get shit for that Why? But you can all suck my dick In fact Fuck them Fuck Dre Fuck Jimmy Fuck me Fuck you what? Fuck my own kids The brats Fuck them Biggest group off yeah. Them and you off uh. You two off uh. Got two balls uh. Biggest group calls uh. What you thought you saw Ain't hey, what you saw nah. Cause you're never gonna see me Caught sleeping and See the kid napping Never did happen Like Sherry Papini Harry Houdini I vanish into the thin air I'm leaving like that. Abra, Abra, Abra. And for my last trick, I'm about to reach in my back. 
reach in my back, bro. Okay, that was nice. That was nice, and by the way, I'm about to respond, even though I'm not really gonna say, I'm not really saying anything negative. Um, I suspect a couple of very dedicated fans uh, are gonna get very, <laughs> very <clears throat> about what I'm about to say about this, bro. I think, honestly speaking, Eminem lyrically. And in terms of skill wise, he still got it. But um, I think in terms of his sound, his best days are behind him. And I say that as an Eminem fan, and I say that in a should I say sad way, or like um like a solemn way to say those like his days are just like honestly, <laughs> because honestly, honestly speaking, all 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 bands that I I've, I've grown up listening to and all of that like um. The ACDCs and like people like Eminem, people like you know even hey he just referenced like the the Black Eyed Peas but he said the Black Guy Peas and all of that. All of those people are still like dropping music, but their their prime days are best behind them. It's just that honestly speaking, I've seen Eminem. He's gotten this. He's uh, he, he his album just hit number one, right? And his music is doing very well, especially like in this era where honestly with the streaming era and like. Um, the pirating of music and everything like that. Um, only artists like Eminem can truly transcend those problems because they're so well established and they're such pivotal names in this music industry. That's why the whole um, thing of him referencing Megan, Megan Thee Stallion and asking himself within the song, will I even get a feature with this hot artist? It's like, well, business-wise, of course you'll get a feature and it won't really be her fucking choice. And she will be happy to accept a feature from an Eminem because he's just way more established. Someone like Megan Thee Stallion, no matter how popular she is, she's not as established yet. She could like just disappear tomorrow. Not saying she's going to like literally disappear, but like something could happen with her career tomorrow. And she still wouldn't have enough of a freaking history within the music industry, a pivotal history, an iconic history, to be able to like really come to people's minds as someone who was uh, really about that. And if Megan the Stallions want to get offended by that, get offended by that. Megan the Stallion fans want to get offended by that, they can get offended by that. But um, some of these uh, artists rise. It's not like Eminem. It's not like a Nicki Minaj, if we're referencing female rappers. It's not like a Nicki Minaj where Nicki came straight out the fucking gate. And she was already... Sh Nikki, like, here's the difference. Nicki Minaj was fucking up male artists in a male-dominated industry, lyrically, verse-wise, while she was still at the bottom coming up. Like, while she, she just appeared like a little unicorn. Poo, and then she... That's the difference. So, for Eminem to ask himself that question, it's sort of like a reference to, are my days really over? Because I'm not the same Eminem as before in terms of, like, the impact and like the, the thing that absolutely smacks and absolutely just shuts down the world, you know. I'm more of like an Eminem on a throne. Um, I'm, ab I'm about to piss you off. I'm about to piss you off. I'm more of like an Eminem on the throne, mostly coasting off of uh, my innate talent and my, um, my staple popularity. He's a staple within the music industry. That is why he does so well and he's still very relevant and he's still very popular. But the music he's making, especially in this new wave, where honestly it's not just a trap wave, there's such a mixture and explosion of electronic and natural musical elements. Everyone is so different nowadays, while at the same time, so the same nowadays. It's a very confusing time in music, and I don't think Eminem is doing well in this era of music. Not a lot of artists are doing well. In this era of music. Not a lot of old artists are doing well or sounding good. Even Jay-Z doesn't sound good nowadays, guys. Like, he spits, like, verses and people, like, will reference the God did and all of that. But the whole God did and all of that, it's not as dope as people make it out to be. I feel like that's mostly marketing. That's mostly marketing. And it's not as iconic as I got 99 problems, but a bitching one. You know, it's not as iconic as... So, honestly speaking... 
this song it was okay to me i didn't feel it it wasn't as dope as it could be it felt like a callback song this is like a callback song to without me which is honestly one of my favorite eminem songs probably top five eminem songs of all time maybe you're gonna judge me for it because without me is so commercial but honestly it has a important space in my life because that's when i first discovered eminem i think without me was one of the first three music videos i saw of eminem in early grade six because that's when i first discovered eminem in sixth grade they were doing like a whole countdown eminem versus pink um king of rap versus the queen of i don't know was she the queen of pop or something like that they were referencing pink as that and they were just showing this artist eminem just without me um rock star just lose it all his greatest hits and um yeah that's why it's one of my favorites so, and this feels like a callback to that it doesn't feel like anything truly it doesn't feel like anything truly um truly eyebrow raising i'm sorry the president is right behind me like i'm not even making a joke he's having like a whole um conference or something like just down the road over there so everyone is in an uproar and i'm just like bro he's just the president uh <laughs> but yeah yeah dude that's all i have to say it's it's just, for me it's just a callback song and it's all right and if the rest of the album is just like like this it's but i've heard a snippet of a couple of songs that i'm interested in seeing and they and hearing and they're actually dope and i look forward to it so ho hopefully this this reaction gets out there it picks up steam and we don't encounter any problems but that's been me like comment subscribe with the post notifications and uh daniel thank you thank you for this um see you next time you can tell them all it's way too late way too late way too late Stay in this bit, whole lot of students be trying to even the odds. You should just play with your wrist. One hit of quitters from niggas who wait till legit, but I'm still trying to feed it the ride. I had a slip.